Hey everybody, Allison here from The Nutrition Doula, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about something I've been seeing come up a lot. So, you know how there's like work-life balance? It's pushed all the time, like in corporate America, like how you have to have a good work-life balance, and you know, if your job is taking over your life, then maybe it's not like a healthy fit for you, and maybe it's time to find a new job, and you can just like go to any workspace or Google it anywhere and find all kinds of stuff about like how to achieve work-life balance, right? It's like this thing that we're supposed to achieve to make us happy overall, right? Well, let's talk about health-life balance because it's kind of the same message that we get from like the health and fitness world here is that we need to figure out how we're going to balance like our healthy habits with the rest of our life, right? Because we need to do all the healthy habit like things like spending all this time at the gym and eating salads and like, you know, I don't know, making sure that you cut your body fat and keeping your nutrition on point and all this stuff. We, we need to do all this stuff, but we need to make sure that we also can live our life, right? Where um, we're dealing with like screaming toddlers or poop explosions or, you know, dinner out with friends or drinks or things like that, that are the things that we enjoy in life. Like, yeah, we want to be able to go to the movies sometime and eat a bucket of popcorn. <laughs> Like that's part of life and we should be able to live our lives. And then we also have to deal with our health over here, right? So like we need a health life balance. We need to be able to balance the healthy stuff with the rest of our life, right? Um, similar to work life balance. Like we need to be able to be good in our career and our job, but like also balance it with life. So the things that we can enjoy. The problem with the work life balance or the health life balance is that they are approaching these things as mutually exclusive of each other. So therefore you have to balance them. You either have to have your health or your life, right? And we need to balance the two so we get enough health in because health and life are not actually compatible, right? That's the message that we're getting when we're talking about balancing these things. And when we're talking about like having to do a diet or all that type of diet culture stuff, um, it's really delivering this subliminal message that those two are not compatible. So, and in a way, like I would really agree with that. If what you're doing for your healthy side of things really doesn't fit into your life, then it's not a sustainable way of doing it. Um, and that is one of the things that I am like hammering home all the time um, with clients or in my membership program, any of that stuff, is that if it's not sustainable, then it's not something that we should be doing right? Um, except for in very like rare cases, if you're trying to diagnose a food allergy or something like that for like a sustainable period of time or, you know, a finite period of time, that would be like an exception to the not sustainable rule. But in general, not sustainable, we don't want to do it. So this health life balance is giving us the message that our lives, our normal lives and our health are, are in opposition with each other. So I propose that instead of talking about things as like balancing those two out and getting it right, that we deal with health life integration instead, okay? So we take the health and we take our life and we integrate them fully so that you can't really tell one from the other. It just is and it's great. <laughs> is the idea for this health life integration. So rather than having to figure out all the healthy things that I need to do, you know, the like special meal plans and this pre-proportioned stuff and the gym and all this extra things that I need to throw in in order to get health in, and then over here is my life, why don't we just take our life, the thing that we enjoy, <laughs> and get the health things in there so that we don't notice there's something separate or different, so that we're doing them naturally so that they, they just are a part of our life. You know, we never talk about, um, unless you're like getting on a diet or needing to get back to eating healthy, right? Food is just food. You eat it when you're hungry, right? You enjoy it, you go out to restaurants, you have a drink with your friends, like whatever. It's not something that you're worried about um, or thinking about all the time, right? It's not until we get into this diet mentality that we're stuck thinking about it all the time. Well, what if food was just food, but we were confident that what we're eating was something that actually supported our health. It was actually food that made us healthy um, versus food that was detracting from our health, which is throwing us back into this diet thing. What if that was the integration that we were dealing with? Same thing with exercise. What if instead of, I have to go to the gym, I have to burn 600 calories because I had a burger for lunch. 
we instead found ways that we moved our bodies with joy and um, we, that we looked forward to so that we were active enough and active on a regular enough basis that it wasn't some kind of like special calorie burn sesh at the gym that we had to get in right? It was just our normal lives throughout the normal course of our lives. We had integrated these healthy things, um, this healthy movement, so that it was just part of our life. And that's it. It's integrated, right? We don't have to think about it separately. So health life integration is where it's at, okay? That is basically what I wanted to tell you guys today. It's all about the health life integration, not about the health life balance, not about getting healthy and then being bad on vacation. None of that crap right? Um, health life integration, where you can't tell one from the other. They are part of a whole. And that is it. So if you're curious about like, how could I actually achieve this panacea of health life integration? Um, drop a comment, send me a message, whatever it is. And um, I will talk you through that in a little bit more detail. want to keep this short enough. Um, so that is all I want to talk to you guys about today. Hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and let me know what you think. Let me know if you um, have a good health life balance going on or if this uh, health life integration is something that you're like, hmm, I want to know a little more about that. Um, so I will see you guys around and have a fabulous rest of your day. Okay, bye. Hey there, thanks for watching my video. If you want more great content like this, comment and let me know what questions you'd like me to address. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.